I've been told some really incredible stuff from very important people in this world. I mean, and profoundly important people in this world that you would not think that I had an opportunity to even be in their company and the, what they told me. Um, well, we've, we've, you know, collectively have sat down with some of those folks. That's right. Remember the gentleman who introduced us and that's right. his involvement you with, know, the with the government for years and years At and the years. very, very pinnacle of government. Mm -hmm. Pinnacle of government. Right. I remember him telling me, Netanyahu works for me. I remember the night he said that. Netanyahu, Kissinger, no, they work for me. Well, I remember he invited me over to his house that day after September 11th in the World Trade Centers. I went over to his office and sitting in his office amongst all the photographs yep. of him and every world the diplomat out there on the planet, including several presidents. Oh, yeah. And, and Queen Mum and Prince Charles and all these royalty of Europe. He was, mm -hmm. he, I picked up with everybody. Yeah. And I remember having uh, the discussions. You and I had some very interesting Shabbat dinners at his house. That's and, right. Uh, we sure did. You know, he shared a lot of his wisdom and explained And how if anybody had it, he did. I mean, he oh, was... Yeah. He yeah. was one of the top people in this government. And sharp as a tack. Remember, oh, yeah. At 92 years old, he was sharper than half the 20 year olds oh, at the God, table. Oh, yeah. Brilliant man. Yeah, great guy. Well, I don't, I don't know if I ever told you this, but in 1999, <laughs> uh, December 31st, uh, New Year's night, the next morning, uh, New Year's morning of the year 2000, I got a phone call from him. And I said, well, you know, what a pleasure to hear from you. And he said, well, I'm just calling to wish you a happy new year. And I said, well, thank you for thinking of me. And he said, of course I think of you. You're my friend. And so I could hear he was in a restaurant. So I said, so where are you? And he said, well, I'm having breakfast uh, with the with my wife. He said, uh, she wanted to come to Palm Springs for the weekend, for the holiday weekend. So I brought her over here and we're having breakfast. I said, well, that's nice. And so he said, I'm here having breakfast with uh, Secretary Powell and Dick Cheney. And they want to say hello. <laughs> and, and yeah, he's there with Powell and Cheney. And he said, I've been talking to them about you and about my feelings about you. I, I was just amazed. And so we talked and I uh, talked to his wife for a few minutes. And then uh, that was it. And so then when she handed the phone back to him, he said, well, uh, uh, you will be coming to dinner next next week. And I said, yes, I will, Doc. Uh, yes, I will. And he said, well, I've been talking to Powell and Cheney about you. And uh, so I've told them about my feelings about you. And I said, well, I hope it's good. And he says, oh, always, I love you, and we'll talk later. So I said, well, thank you. So that was it. But, you know, Powell and Cheney sitting there oh, yeah. discussing me. I'll never forget the call when his... His aide came in and said, Dr. Kissinger's on the phone. Would you like to take his call? And he and Henry Kissinger had a five-minute conversation about mm -hmm. yeah. how the world was about to change after that day. That's exactly right. And he told me, he said, there are seven men who run California. One of those sessions where we were up in his, up in his office, mm -hmm. in his home, uh, and our other mutual friend, the other doctor, mm -hmm was there and uh, and and so he said to me he said there are seven men who run the state of california one of them is in charge of all entertainment one is over agriculture one is over uh the mineral resources of california another one's over the corporations and uh, international corporations but basically the power of california is in the hands of seven men and they work directly for me i hired them I don't know what that tells you, but what translated it seems to me is you know, this guy was calling the shots for California. Not only was he doing it, but he's calling up for in Washington D.C. because he had he told me he, uh, one of his actual words were, "Netanyahu works for me." Mm 